a long time today. Uh, I did want to start for those of you who have not seen the video with just about a minute of, of this video that talks about what MPS is. Um, and then we're going to kind of get into the nitty gritty of uh, some of the different ways uh, in which MPS works. We're going to actually go over from the time that uh, you print from CorelDRAW up to the time that it's captured and what we can do to jobs in, in the MPS uh, interface. Um, so just to begin, I'm just going to start this, uh, this presentation real quick. When was the last time you wondered, how much will this sign cost? Or, how much did that last sign cost? Have you ever thought, where did my budget go? Who did we spend it on? How much did we spend during last quarter and what was it on? Wouldn't it be nice if you had an automatic way of communicating to your sales reps or drivers? that their signs were ready to be picked up. At TMS, we are committed to helping you find solutions to the problems you face on a day-to-day -day basis. And as such, we are proud to present MPS. So what is MPS? MPS is a dynamic, powerful reporting tool which gives you access to in-depth reporting capabilities as well as quick glance, easy to read charts. The best thing is, it's so simple to use. The only tools that you'll need in order to make MPS work is EFI and internet browsing capability. Let's see how it works. All right, and with that introduction, let's, let's get into it a little bit. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with MPS, MPS is a reporting tool that allows us to be able to capture everything that you print through your sign shop and be able to sort it in various ways, uh, all customized by you, the sign shop user. Um, MPS works as you are printing a job from CorelDRAW uh, and you go into your EFI unit driver. Um, it automatically will capture the files that you print from EFI. Now that doesn't have to be done through the uh, Unidriver interface. You can actually print to it through the uh, virtual printer interface and you can also print to it directly from EFI if you need to open up a JPEG or a PDF directly into EFI. Um, but once the file has been printed in EFI, it is automatically going to be sent up to the MPS website within one hour of the print time. Um, that could be within five minutes, it could be within 59 minutes, it just depends on uh, where you fell in your print cycle with uh, when it was last uploaded. Uh, MPS will then capture the job and display it in two different interfaces. The first being the dashboard and the second being the jobs log. I'll talk about some of the, the um, differences between those two here in just a moment. Oh, I need to log back in. Uh, so the two different those two different uh, interfaces again were the dashboard and the jobs log, um, and uh, once you've actually come into the uh, into the NPS interface, you'll find your jobs in both of these areas. Now the dashboard is a staging area. This is where all of the files that require your attention um, are going to be held. The jobs log shows you everything that you've printed since NPS was set up for you. Okay. The difference is that in the jobs log, if it needs your attention, it will also display this little uh, icon down here that you might see that shows uh, an exclamation point. That lets us know that it's also in the dashboard. Again, the dashboard is for all of the files that need your attention. If the file needs your attention, that means that you can confirm it. 
when clicking on a file to confirm the file, we have various options to be able to confirm with. We can tell it how much time we spent in creating the file, how much time we spent in uh, mounting the file to a substrate, in laminating it, and putting grommets into it, and all that kind of stuff. And you can actually add on your production labor costs. We can also assign keywords here, different keywords that are set up uh, by the user um, in order to be able to track for your specific custom needs. You also have the capability of putting on the different finishing costs that apply to that specific job. In the dashboard, we can also do group confirmation. So if you have multiple jobs that applied the same exact thing to each, we can select those different files and say confirm selected. And now we're confirming for all of those jobs so that we don't have to do this individually per job. After speaking with many users who have utilized MPS and after having used it myself, the best time to actually go through and, and do all these updates that we found, or the most popular time anyway, would be in the morning after the print jobs have been done the previous day. So you come in and spend 10 or 15 minutes and apply all the, all the job confirmations from the previous day to all of the different jobs that are in the dashboard. And then they leave the dashboard. So once a job is confirmed, it's no longer in the dashboard. And it's only in the jobs log interface. Because it no longer needs your attention, it's no longer in the dashboard. Now, the different things that are in here as far as for tracking and cost setup, let me talk about where those come from. These apply specifically to TMS inks and materials. However, all of the finishing costs, the lamination, the grommets, the foam core, the banner tabs, uh, any sort of um, miscellaneous charges you want to do for uh, banner uh, miscellaneous fees, or uh, perhaps you want to put on there um, specific laminations or specific different sizes of foam cores. Those are all done by the user at the time that we set this interface up. The uh, user will work with the engineer who's actually going to be creating the account for them so that we can put in the appropriate uh, finishing costs, totally user defined, as well as the labor cost, which is totally user defined. Again, the ink and media, for the, or the toner and media, in the case of the Oki data, is all TMS defined and in advance uh, that has been set up. Now, keywords is the other thing that is user defined. You have the capability of creating your own keywords to be able to categorize all of the files that you're printing. We can create keyword categories such as account numbers, brands, routes. You can create salespeople, special events, whatever it is you'd like to be able to do and be able to, to apply. So if we created a special sales rep for um, oh, James Kirk, we could apply James Kirk as a sales rep. We could also apply the, the fact that it was for Budweiser. And then it was for Route 3. And uh, maybe it was for the special event. Maybe this one was for Halloween. So that when I do a search later on in MPS, I have the ability to drop or to draw upon this file, this specific file, from any one of these keywords or from the combination of them. So if I want to see everything I did for Halloween, for Budweiser, this file would appear. Or if I want to see everything that I did for James Kirk, our sales rep, this file would appear. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm those. Again, that file will now leave the jobs or the dashboard interface and show up only in the jobs log interface. And we'll get more in detail about the jobs log interface here in just a moment. With the keywords, 
one of the neat things that we have just been uh, able to put in here is notification. So for example, if I wanted to be able to notify James Kirk or one of the other sales reps, such as Kyle or Dennis or Megan or uh, Harry, that their file is done and that they can come pick it up, I have the ability to set that up. So I can come in here to salesperson and I can put in notifications and I can say that I want to know that for, um, let's see here, let's create one of these other ones. For Harry, and Harry's email address is harry at junkmail.com. We're going to add that in there. I'm going to close this out. So now when I come over here to dashboard and I apply Harry's name to this file, once I hit confirm and close along with any other keywords I wanted to apply to this, it will automatically email Harry to let him know that his file is ready to come and be picked up from the sign shop. Okay. We also have the capability of drilling these reports down. Um, in a quick display pie chart that is easy to read so that you can give these to your managers on a, on a consistent daily basis or on a weekly basis or however often you want to get those out. Or we can get down into some uh, really in-depth reports, which I'll get into in a moment. Let's go over some of the quick reports. So when you create a keyword, it automatically puts that, that uh, keyword category in here to be able to run a report by. And you can drill that down as a, to a specific time frame. So for example, if I wanted to run a report for um, my sales reps, just to see the cost by salesperson. And I haven't put in a time frame yet, but you can see here's my total cost per sales rep. If I wanted to put in a date frame and say, well, show me what I did for my sales rep for the last 30 days or for the last week, or for the last um, for the last month, it will show me everything that I've done for those specific those specific sales reps for that time frame. Okay. Now I can come in here and also select that out by special event. So if I wanted to see everything that I've done for a special event for the last 30 days, I can do so. So that if I want to see what I did for a custom range, let's say it was for the last year, show me all my special events or show me everything that I did for my sales rep for the last year or for the last quarter, over the last month, you have the ability to just do a quick drop down. Now, the other neat thing about this is that we can also do side by side comparison. So, if you want to see a new report and you want to see, okay, well, how much did I spend in labor for the special events over the past year? Okay, well, show me how much I also spent in. Um, uh, how many jobs did I do for special events for the last year? So now you're getting really in depth with what you've done for special events. For special events, we know all the cost, we know how much you spent in labor, and we know how much that you uh, were able to drill that down to how much you did for per job. Okay. If we want to get more in depth reports, we can come over here to the jobs log interface where we have the ability to actually put in a dynamic search, meaning multiple keyword functions. So if you want to know what you did for uh, Budweiser, for, um, uh, oh, let's say Route 2, for a specific date range, you can hit those in and it'll, it'll enter those for you. Let's say we want to just do Budweiser and we want to see what we did for Budweiser for March Madness.
So that will drill that down for you in a specific dynamic way where you can actually control exactly what you want to see. Now in both of these interfaces, both the jobs log reporting interface as well as the reports interface, you have the ability to download those reports into an Excel spreadsheet or into a PDF. In the reports, you can download that into a PDF because there's not really uh, an Excel amount of data here. So we can download that into a PDF and then we can email that document off or we can print that document up. And if you have multiple reports being shown, then you can actually see um, all of those in the download that you do with the PDF. It'll actually display multiple pages. Okay. Um, under account, one of the neat things about this tab is that it allows you to do a markup. So let's say that you want to actually give this report to one of your accounts so that they, they can actually see what you did for them for March Madness, for Joe's Bar and Grill. You can actually come in here and create a markup value so that they don't actually see your cost, but they see the going market rate cost. So they can know how much they would have been spending in these signs for their advertising or how much you spent for them on market value for advertising in their, in their establishments. You can also utilize this tool for marketing purposes to be able to compare it against what you actually took in from those accounts. So not only is this a, an accounting feature specifically for the sign shop for cost, but it also becomes a powerful sales tool and marketing tool as well. MPS is a powerful reporting tool that is easy to use. It's flexible. We have the ability to go in and add new features. We have added recent new features of being able to uh, notify um, your sales reps or notify persons when the, when the files are done, as well as the ability to select multiple files at a time. We're constantly evaluating new features for their feasibility and applicability. But the nice thing about MPS is that it's incredibly simple and easy to use. So you can actually come in here and spend as much or as little time as you want and be able to get exactly what you need out of your reporting purposes for everything that you've printed in your sign shop. At this time, I would have uh, liked to turn this over to anybody who may have wanted to ask any questions. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out uh, my email address for everybody to see so that if anybody has any questions about any of the information that they've seen in here, they can go ahead and contact me via email or they can call in and talk to uh, a support representative here at TMS and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Again, thank you for attending today's uh, MPS training, and uh, we hope to uh, hear from you soon.